Is Sound of Freedom actually going to be this summer's big blockbuster film? I think this could happen. From Zero Hedge, Paramount falls on Mission Impossible box office miss. Sound of Freedom outperforms by Tyler Durden. I don't think that's his real name. Paramount shares fell by 3% in pre-market trading in New York after Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 missed box office projections on its debut weekend across U.S. and Canada, according to Bloomberg. Paramount and Skydance spent $290 million on the production of the action movie. However, since its release on July 12th, it has only grossed $80 million, falling short of Paramount Pictures' projection of $90 million over the weekend. The film's earnings were $56.2 million, missing box office pros forecast range of $61 million to $75 million in ticket sales from Friday to Sunday. Second on the box office list, is the anti-child sex trafficking film Sound of Freedom. This film continues to shock the entertainment industry with how well it has done in the 13 days since its release with near-term projections to break the 100 million dollar mark so even currently if you look at box office mojo sound of freedom on sunday did better than indiana jones dial of destiny insidious the red door and elemental two disney films combined could not take out sound of freedom as this train just keeps on rolling mission impossible's first sunday out didn't even do double what sound of freedom did sound of freedom on its second week and continuing its rise domestic gross which is the whole worldwide gross for sound freedom is at 85.5 million dollars as of sunday 100 million as of next week if we keep this movement going for another month compared to indiana jones so far domestic total is 145 million i could really see sound of freedom taking over the top spot for the summer as these would-be blockbuster films like indiana jones and the dial of destiny like mission impossible keep stumbling out of the gate here's the thing movies aren't what they used to be they're so much more expensive now people got out of the habit after the lockdowns and the extended lockdowns of things like movie theaters we got into the habit habit of watching things for free on Netflix, on Amazon, on Apple TV. We've created new habits. In order for people to get out and go to the movies, it has to be an event. It has to be something special. Special. Top Gun Maverick was something special. Something that people needed to see on the big screen. That's why it did so well. Sound of Freedom is something that has a movement behind it. People want to share this experience. People want to open eyes and minds to the problem of child sex trafficking. And so I heard someone call it exploitive. Exploitive doesn't really hit the mark. I think it's almost evangelical. You want this message to get out. You want to change the hearts and minds of people. This isn't even about religion, but you can be evangelical about a message that needs to be heard. And I think that's what's happening with Sound of Freedom. In the meantime, all of Hollywood is crumbling because they're not making events. They're not making movies that people just have to go see. They're just making a bunch of also-ran garbage filler that might as well have been produced by AI, but now they're striking because they don't want AI used. they become so feeble in their own industry of producing anything worth watching that AI could come in and replace them. AI can't be creative and artistic and heartfelt and produce stuff that's really worth getting out of your lazy boy, driving to the theater with your family to go Go see a movie. AI is not going to produce that, people. It's perfectly capable of replacing the schlock writers and actors and directors that they have out there now, and that's what Hollywood is afraid of. Hollywood is losing money hand over fist right now, producing all of this stuff. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Disney has lost almost a billion dollars in the last couple of years, and the creatives are now coming to them and saying, hey, you're losing all of this money. Pay us more money. I say let them fight. I'm all for the strike going on as long as it has to let a new hollywood rise that is not burdened by sag after that is not ah uh, this is a totally different topic i should do another video anyways sound of freedom go see it let's get this movie over 200 million i know that sounds crazy it's only at 85 million now but it's only been two weeks in the theaters another month of prolonged messaging the people have the say power to the people god bless you i am mike the unapologetic american like subscribe share tell me what you think about all this in the comment section below and i will see you on the next video Mm, I'm very
come